It's day two and the weather is laid down as absolutely gorgeous. So we're gonna head offshore and anchor for halibut. Lance knows of a couple good spots offshore here that's perfect for anchoring. So that's what we're gonna do. It's a very effective way to attract fish uh, to your boat. And it's also a very safe way to fish for halibut with the anchoring system, you know, not using your main anchor line. In case something happens where, you know, weather blows up and, and you do get hung up on the bottom or snagged, with the anchoring system, it's just a quick release, one pull, and your boat is free from the anchor, and there's no issues at all. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna head offshore, use the anchor, and we're gonna wait patiently for a fish to bite. Oh, what you got there, Mo? Well, the trick is when you're halibut fishing on a nice day, is you gotta eat, and that will entice the fish to eat. <laughs> so let's do up a little barbecue here. Sounds fantastic. You know, like when you're in the mix with boats and you got a guy out there with his barbecue and he's cooking something and you're downwind of that guy. I might know, <laughs> I might know a guy. <laughs> there we go. We're in seven to 10 minutes and we are eating. Oh yeah. Well, I got a question for you, Mo. Yes. Since we've been up since 5 a.m., is a 9 a.m. smoky considered breakfast or is it considered lunch? Deep thoughts, buddy. Yeah, deep, deep thoughts, thoughts. <laughs> that's a good question. <laughs> it's almost like an in-between... Uh, brunch, can we call it brunch? Lunch and dinner, like a liner. <laughs> liner, nice. <laughs> hey? yeah. yeah, yeah. Brunch works. Well, I figure maybe if the bite's on in the boat, maybe the bite will be on under the boat. Yes, that usually uh, is the way it works. How is it, bud? Is it warm? It's fantastic. The bite's on in the boat. The bite is on in the boat. <clears throat> oh. Not bad, eh? Fresh Vancouver Island blacktail. That's jalapeno, right. Jalapeno cheddar. Wow. Tasty. We got them, yeah. Didn't take too long. We actually just had to slide over a little slid bit. Slid over a little bit, but you know, that's the thing when you put in some time and the things aren't happening, don't be afraid to pick up and move. And we did that here. You got it right over there. It's like a good one. And we got I'm, I'm guessing quick. at least a 40 pounder here. It's by feels the looks pretty of it. good. You had a great take. Awesome. They're such a strong fish, these things, you know. It's sure nice on these Shimano rods. Well, look I mean, at the you action. You can, can see the action on it. Rods bent right over. Yeah. The bite was actually, you know, very pronounced. Real, real good take. And these are the Travala jigging rods. 30 to 80 pound. You can get them heavier, but I, I enjoy them. I mean, they got a lot of backbone, but look at that rod. Yeah, that's oh, uh, it's a good fish. This is going to be a good one. It's a good fish. Like, it's an over, isn't it? gonna be close. Sometimes when you're holly fishing, you gotta put in a bit of time. Sometimes it happens right away, like we moved to this spot and it was bang on, like right away. But we did spend a couple hours just, you know, not far from here and we missed one. But uh, this is this is what you wait for, this right here, man. So this is the maximum size of a halibut that you can keep out here is, uh, 126 centimeters, which is that big, which is about a 50, you know, depending on how fat the fish is, uh, how thick the fish is, probably around a f between a 50 and 60 pounder. So um, I'm thinking Mo is uh, tangled with something uh, probably quite similar to that. Yeah. So we're gonna have to get out, get him up here and uh, measure him and make a call, see if he's uh, if he's a keeper or not. He's had a couple good runs here, but we got him moving right now. That's the key with these fish. If you can, you got to try and keep them moving. If you're resting, the fish is resting. Oh, geez. Nice couple big head shakes from this fish. This one's a good one. I think he's a nice one. Yeah. They're all nice fish. They're all nice for sure. Some are just bigger than others. There he is. That's a nice fish. Oh, he's a perfect size halibut, dude. I think he's, he's, he's good. He's legal for sure, he is. That's a good fish. What a fish, dude. Oh man, like 120, 
125 and three quarters or something gets no closer than that. I mean, he's I hanging would, on. I would say this fish is probably close to uh, 55 pounds, something like that. Great bite. I can tell he's a nice fish. We talked about him coming up. We're like, man, he's going to be close. Yeah. I mean, essentially bang on, 125 and three quarters. Yeah. Uh, awesome uh, gaff job, man. I know it's not always easy. You like the harpoon. I don't have a harpoon <laughs> on board. Normally, I gaff him. You perfect job. Yeah, it was. Uh, I don't know. It's nice when the conditions are like this as well. You can see how nice it is out here. We're 10 miles offshore. It's flat, calm. Like couldn't be better conditions. So everything came together perfectly. Awesome fish. Awesome. Well, let's get that rod back in. Sounds good. See if we can find one more. Awesome.